Hello, my name is Fred Mednick. I'm the academic coordinator for the International Institute for Education for Development. I'm a professor at Johns Hopkins University, and I'm the founder of Teachers Without Borders. Of all my roles, I am most thrilled with this project and this work with EOL and CERNOP. Last year, the inaugural group of students broke new ground, and we launched the ICT in Education program. We call the first year High Tech, High Touch, High Teach for a reason. We know that ICTs alone, the high tech part, can't fix education by itself. It needs high touch, the love and care of educators, excellent educators, and high teach, instructors who know their subjects and know about the students they teach. I became a teacher because I love to share my knowledge. And by sharing with others, you always get more insight in the things you are teaching, especially if you've got some critical thinkers in your classroom. Suriname needs a boost in ICT. So when I came back to Suriname two years ago, I chose for a job in education instead of a commercial job. ICT in teaching makes the work for the teacher much, much easier. For instance, all my assignments and grades are online and digital. With one mouse click, I can get a printout with all the data of one particular student or all of them. What we accomplished last year was extraordinary. We know that teachers are multipliers and last year we saw how ICTs can help them become accelerators. They learned how to be effective and they learned how to be efficient. They experimented with software, they became authors of blogs, they developed an e-portfolio of their work, worked in groups, and they took on difficult challenges. But most of all, they collaborated to make a difference. We learned that if we work as a team, we can help anyone. And I have a phrase for this, it's helping people catch up in ICT skills, catch on, to 21st century skills and catch fire to ensure that they know how to put these tools to work in classrooms. Hi, I'm Esther Baldwin and I teach ICT. I think teaching is challenging and rewarding. As we teach, we not, we're not only preparing our students to pass a test, but we're also preparing them for life. Today's workplace requires 21st century skills uh, such as communication, collaboration, critical thinking, and creativity. I believe the use of ICTs can help us develop these much needed skills. We can have them work on projects. I'm proud of my class because at the end of the first semester, no one was going to pass. But uh, through collaboration, ICT tools, we managed to go from 0 to 70%. The upcoming school year I've planned to do some demos where I can show my colleagues how to plan their lessons and how to test students while using ICT. My name is Cresela Amatanam. I want to become a teacher because I love to work with children and I love the classroom environment. I really want to be a part of it and to contribute to our school city in that way. It is my belief that it's important to teach the children with passion and giving them the confidence. When I started, I thought that uh, teaching was about introducing the, the lesson using a blackboard by giving a verbal explanation or lecture, but now I know of I believe that teaching is more about communication, collaboration, and creativity. ICT is important in teaching because it brings uh, the classroom more to alive. It engages students in their learning process. I'm particularly proud of that I was able to create a Powhatan presentation. It gives me the opportunity uh, to push myself at a higher level. Hello everyone, I'm Parveen Mohan, history teacher at the RD Simon School. I teach because I want to use teaching as a tool to help build a better future for Suriname. 
I teach history because I'm convinced that every Surinamese child needs to know his or her history. I want to be a teacher using different techniques in teaching an ICT-minded teacher. Before I joined this course, I heard a little bit about tools that teacher can use during the lesson but I didn't know how to use. This course gives me the opportunity to learn and apply it. Year two is about five things. First is building a community of practice so that you work on projects in peer groups. Two, classroom observations where you get to see through film and your colleagues how life is working in Surinamese classrooms. Three, adapting Suriname's curriculum to ensure that ICTs can help teachers reach all learners. Four, practice teaching both at EOL and in Suriname's classrooms. And five, developing and evaluating new teaching strategies that you know are going to work. The next year is what I think of as the implementation phase. Now they have all the necessary tools. So it will be now uh, to see how they actually take these tools and apply it to the real world to actually solve important problems in the society. This project fills my heart. I think about the students and I think about the goals all the time. I worry about it, I celebrate with the students, we laugh together, we try new things, we make changes, we plan, we ask questions, and I think this is the heart of excellent teaching. The student as the center of attention. And the students in Suriname, I must say, are absolutely extraordinary. And we're doing all this, and I feel particularly committed to it, as do all of our professors from around the world, because we believe in you. We believe in your ability to ask your own questions, and set your own goals, and reach for your own stars. We're getting there every single day, week by week, month by month, module by module, year by year. And I know we're gonna succeed, and I know Suriname is going to celebrate because this is a model that is working not only in Suriname, but can become a model for Latin America and the Caribbean, if not the rest of the world. And so congratulations, best of luck. I'm sorry I'm not able to be there this time, but I search uh, plane reservations every single day to see when I can get there soon. There's a lot that the kids need to know. A letter to a person on their first day here. Welcome, this is the world. It's a pretty cool place. There's lots to see, smells. Some days gross things will happen. Some days awesome things will happen. Some days you'll get ice cream. And some days you won't. Some days your kite will fly high. Some days it gets stuck in the tree. It's just how it is here.
There's plenty of reasons to dance. You just gotta look for them. Don't worry though, you won't be doing this alone. You're gonna meet lots of people here. Maybe you'll be a teacher. Maybe you'll be president. Maybe you'll cure every disease ever. You're gonna do it a lot, and nobody knows exactly how much. So enjoy it. Pay attention. Take brain pictures. Because amazing things will happen every day. You're gonna do so much. But it's not about what you do. It's about who you are. And you, you're awesome. You're made that way. You're made from love, to be love, to spread love. Love is always louder, no matter what. Even if hate has a bullhorn, love is louder. So let your life be loud. Let's shout to the world. Things can be better. I don't think I told you this yet. We're really glad you're here. We don't say that enough to each other here. Because, well, life gets busy. You're gonna be important and you're gonna do a lot. You're gonna need a pep talk sometimes. And that's okay. For now, remember this. You're awake. You're awesome. Live like it. <laughs>